Big pumps. Like Hypo said. <laughs> Junior's on. Oh, wait. wait, Dan, you got a rockfish? Yeah, that's our buddy. That's what I'm at. That's what I came for. Uh, woo! Up to the top. Up to the top. Looks good. It feels good. I don't like the way it bends over. Right in front of my face. Wait, is that a mutton? What? <laughs> mutton snapper on the humps. What is happening? What you got over there? Got a little gator we caught. We're frying up some gator right now. If you don't remember, David and I, in the in a couple of videos ago, we hunted a gator. Oh my God. <laughs> He's not happy at all. Oh! Oh yeah, baby. Bro, I don't know if we should put him in the boat already. That gator went kablam, and now we're cooking it up. And if you also watched my last video, you also know that I got some boat problems. And that's why tomorrow, David and I, we're going out with Junior from Extreme Outdoors, and we're gonna go wahoo fishing and sword fishing. So we gotta wake up at like uh, four or five in the morning. We're gonna wake up super early. We're gonna bring some gator on the boat. A little nightcap check out. Y'all see that koozie right there? But yeah, last beer of the night, because we gotta go to bed, and then we're gonna wake up early and hopefully fish on. It's five in the morning. We got our fried gator from last night coming out on the boat with us. Got our beers, camera gear. Now we're gonna head over to Junior's house and let the games begin. Oh, how do I turn this light on? Woo! Whoa, focus. We just got to Junior's house, and we're gonna go wahoo trolling, but instead of sword fishing, we're gonna go vertical jigging afterwards, because it was just the sword fishing gear is just too much to get together. This early in the morning, so we're running back to the to my house and we're gonna grab our vertical jigging gear and we're going to back to Junior's house. That's the game plan now. We're back with the vertical jigging rods. Now you ready? Now we're ready. Now we got our favorite rods. <laughs> Maybe we can put some slammer wahoo on the boat this morning. How you been? Yeah. Good man, how are you? Happy, good. happy your post Thanksgiving, bro. Hey. El Beers. Okay. Are there two cases of beer in here already? Uh, when you say cases, they were like two different modellos and something yeah, else. Yes, yeah, yeah. All right. So the beer's on the boat. The rods are on the boat. Look at these DTXs. Those are, those are 200s. Oh, okay. Not the not 220s. The so they, they dive a little shallower. Than the... Okay. You want me to grab something out of here? You want to grab one of these? Yeah. A little morning workout in with the bag of ice. Mo ice. Plugs? Holy moly. You've been watching, uh, you've been watching YouTube lately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we brought some gator from our last gator hunt. Oh yeah? If you want to try some. And off we go. Where'd you go gator hunt? Uh, we went to Orlando. Oh yeah? Yeah. How many gators you got? Just one. We caught them on a rod, got them close to the boat, <laughs> then we put a spear in them, and then we got them close to the boat, and then we shot them right at the boat. Big one? Nine foot. Wow. Yeah, it was we, pretty cool. We eat the whole thing. For real? Yeah. It's good? Mm -hmm. You need a permit for that, right? Yeah, two tags. I've been putting in five years for my tags. This, that was it. Damn. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> That's a badass pick. Oh yeah. Feels good to go be going out. Yeah, it's getting chilly. Have yeah. You, bro? you get your boat fixed? Or? Oh man, that is a very pretty sun sunrise. We're heading out of Key Largo and our first stop is some wahoo fishing right off the reef's edge in front of Molasses Reef. We'll troll for a couple hours and then we're gonna head a bit further offshore down to the Isla Mirada humps where we're gonna be doing some vertical jigging. All right, here we go. Number one. Number one, baby. All right, ready? All right, we're here off Molasses Reef out of Key Largo. Dan's putting the first rod out. We got one dive plug that's gonna go way back down the center. Then we have a second one on the right and a third one on the left. And they're all gonna be staggered. Is that the secret sauce over there? You no, know, we gotta glow them up. UV light. See how that shines? Oh, damn! So that when they hit the water in the dark, they stand out. Bam! We got a junior with Extreme Outdoors here showing us all the secret tips and tricks. Whatever makes them work. Make them glow 
And what rhymes with glow with like bite? Glow, bite, bite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of something. Yeah. The glow will make the who's ho. Or go. <laughs> when you're wahoo trolling, make sure you take some kind of leash and strap your rod to the boat. Cause sometimes when a big wahoo slams your bait, it can actually pull your rod out of the rod holder and you don't want to lose a rod. So the dive plug going down the middle is about 150 yards back. The plug on the right is about 75 yards back. And then this plug that I'm about to put out on the left is only 50 yards back. So they're all kind of staggered so that that way they don't get tangled with each other. We're gonna be trolling these guys at about 10 miles an hour between depths of 115 to 200 feet of water. We're fishing. Let's go, baby. Let's We're go fishing. Water. I'm ready to hear this sound right here. The Wahoo have the best real sounds when they hit. Hold it. Lost it. No, that was for sure a Wahoo hit. Yeah, that was a fish. Oh. oh! How did he get off? We are in the hot spot right now. 10.5 miles an hour, trolling north, almost north, northeast. Oh, we got a Wahoo on, baby! Wahoo on! Holy smokes, he is ripping line. Yeah, we keep on moving. We never stop. Yeah, I'll just slow it down just a touch, yeah. but. All right, there it is. Let him run, baby. Woo! Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Woo! Oh, get the gaff ready. That's right. Get the gaff. Get the gaff. I want to see some blood on the deck in here in a second. Guess what? I just saw. Oh, look at that. What are the chances of that? Once you see that color, I'll turn right. Heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you put a Wahoo on this boat yet? No, not a Oh, baby. Dude, the Wahoo is not First Wahoo on this boat. The christening of Wahoo blood. All right, I go. I think we should start turning a little bit. All right, right. turning right for y'all. Snack. Yeah. yeah. Get him up. Yeah. Bam, baby. Yeah. Oh, good. it's them. Yeah. Nice. Holy yeah. smoking. Do it. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. Mama drama. Baby mama drama. Got a Wahoo on the boat, it is now 9 o'clock, the sun's up, and now we're gonna head to the Isla Mirada Humps, do some vertical jigging, see what's swimming around out there. It's about a 10 mile run here from Key Largo to the Humps, maybe like a 12 mile run, it's not too far. And this boat will probably be there in 10-15 minutes. As they say, it's jigging time. Down she goes. I'm the only one jigging on the wrong side of the boat. We're marking a lot of fish right now at the bottom. Dan, you got a fish on you on the bottom? Aw. Oh. Dan, you trying to bring up a rockfish again? Yeah, it's my infamous rockfish. You know the deal. I like the rockfish. Dan loves catching rockfish. That looks like a good rockfish this time. Look at this rod. It's incredible. I'm getting a lot of satisfaction out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the size of this rock. I don't think it's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> he was near the bottom. I let it hit. Actually, it was on the bottom. I reeled him up like 10 cranks and I was letting it drop again. All of a sudden it went slack and I knew what had happened. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, I'm on leader. We might need a gaff. Let's see. Oh, what is uh, what is that? Oh, a barracuda. Barracuda. 
<laughs> oh man. Mm. Oh, nasty Cuda. Oh, but hey, hey, anybody want them? What are we doing? Yeah, yeah, take them. Take them. Woo! Straight into the box. Straight into the box. Bro, that's like a. That's a good eating size one, actually. So this would have been like, oh shit, I got cut off. So we got a Wahoo and we got a Cuban Wahoo. Yeah. The Cuban walk. I would watch out with all those hooks on them. Um, maybe I would maybe use pliers for that. Oh God, I can't watch. You're gonna get bit. Oh my God, your mouth is closer to his hands. <laughs> all right. Do it off the Instagram. You on your line for YouTube. You want to play pliers? Huh? Want to play pliers? Hey, you just give him a whole entire. Dental work. Oh, man. oh God. God. Your hand was in the mouth. And your hand was in the mouth. His hand was down his throat. That's going to be a good eating barracuda. I caught the bottom. You did? I caught the bottom. Oh, you bastard. Very unfortunate. There it goes. Broke off, man. Uh, woo! Up to the top, up to the top. He's coming up nicely. Like I don't know, it feels good. I think looks good. It feels good. Woo! It does look good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way it bends over right in front of my face. Mm. Just hope a shark doesn't come by. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Should be. Oh, I see color. What is that? I can't tell what that is. It's a freaking fish. It kind of looks it's like. like a it does. It really does look like a mutton. Like a massive mutton. Oh, man. I think it is a mutton. Wait, is that a mutton? Whoa. What? Whoa. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my nice. god. Bro, look at the size of that thing. Woo. Oh, Damn. Epic. Damn. Oh Damn, man. Damn. Look at Woo. <laughs> Damn. That is sexy. Holy smokes. Wow. <laughs> Wait, on the humps. On the humps. Oh, crazy. Mutton snapper on the humps. What is happening? <laughs> That's insane. I on the jig, man. On the jig. It looks beautiful. That is a pretty, pretty beautiful. mutton. <laughs> Big pumps, like Heiko said. Junior's on. Oh, wait. wait, Dan, you got a rockfish? Yeah, that's our buddy. That's what I'm at. That's what I came for. You are the master rock. This is just a beard, isn't she? All right. <laughs> Your rock's gonna knock his his fish <laughs> down oh, out on the way down. No, where is it? Alma, go. Oh, oh. Jack. Woo! Shish kebab. Self-releasing. <laughs> Something bit him on the way up. Yeah, you got some. Something took a nice chunk out of him right there. Ooh, um, look like a sword, right? Hit him, right? That's a nice chunk of meat, though. Yeah, Jack. Yeah. I need a new GoPro battery and a beer. I'm gonna drop this down again before I have a beer. Actually, I'm gonna be somewhat responsible of a human being. Crazy looking vertical jig. Timber. Oh, I'm on! Oh, oh, oh. Get in front of the camera, Heiko, get in front of the camera. <laughs> oh, Heiko's off. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, he's a big boy. Oh, he doesn't want to come up. Look at those head shakes. Is that your rock? Rockfish that I just heard over there. Oh no! What, what I just broke off right at the right at the boat, like 20 feet under the boat. Oh, what happened here? Oh, clean cut. 
Oh, I yeah. see color too. Oh, it's long and slippery. Oh, <laughs> you got sharked on the way home. Yeah, oh, oh, he's right behind it. He's I down there. Yeah, oh, there what is, is there that? That's a Cuda. Who did that? Oh, oh man, that, that would have been a nice yeah, one. Cuda. Who do you want that music jamming? The music works. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Get him, Tiger. Don't let him get shark. A little, uh, oh, I'm gonna go. Oh God. He's so small. Oh <laughs> damn! Through Wait, the eye. Both of them. Whoa! What? What wow. kind of gap shot is that, Heiko? No. He did it through both oh, eyes, bro. Five. Like perfect. <sighs> we got the gator bites going now. Juice ball. Oh yeah. Looking good over there, Dan. <laughs> oh man, this is what, I, what a great morning this has been. <laughs> Bam! Caught a wahoo this morning, did some vertical Good jigging. Morning, now we're gonna take some pictures. And you know, I'm always wearing my swordfish pendant, but check this out. I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> Two of the best fish, swordfish and wahoo. There we go, baby. If you guys don't already know, David, C-shirt, C-shirt jewelry David over here. He's got a wahoo pendant. He makes pendants. You go to seashirtjewelry.com and you use the code South Florida Fishing Channel. All one word. What is it, 15% off things? 15% off. Link will be in the video description below if you want to get a sick pennant. How many different fish and things you got? I have over 150 different designs now. Like Pretty much everything you can everything. think of. Everything. Boats, lobsters, propellers, swordfish, wahoo permit. You'll find something. Go check it out. Bag of Junior's dock and we got a killer dock table full of fish. The way the jaw is. There's so many of them. They're like, wow. Like a razor blade, man. Look at that. Like, no, a razor blade. sharp blue. Ooh. Like a prehistoric monster. Those are some weird teeth. They're like. This is nice, man. Look at this. Look. Damn, man, you're caressing this thing. Ah, oh, yes. Love it, first bite. Woo! You're doing it right over there. Oh, yeah. Are the mountains blue? The mountains are blue. Mmm. Every Wahoo has these alien looking parasites in their stomachs and Dan just found them. Come take a look at these things. These are the parasites that live inside of the Wahoo. All right, um, some, something to put the heads in. Getting a bucket for Dan because we're putting all the fish heads in a bucket and Hector's gonna take them home because Hector loves making fish head soup. All right, there we go, nice. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna try That's to, a good looking. I want to clean him up really nice. No blood. Is what I'm going for. Fancy, fancy. I'm back at my house and I got myself some mutton snapper that I caught out vertical jigging on the island Marana humps. And I also got a pair of scissors because I'm about to go to my garden here and snip myself some homegrown that we're going to cook with. And one other little update. I spent all yesterday moving these massive rocks. There's a couple, I gotta move that boulder right there. And right in here, I don't know if you can tell, so my dock is right there with the boat. And then right in here, I'm gonna take cinder blocks. I got a nice cutting table and I'm gonna build a beautiful fish cleaning station where we can film all the uh, cleaning of the fish. It'll have running water. It's a work in progress. You think I should turn that into a video? You guys want me to film me building that? Do like a how to build your own fish cleaning station? I don't know. Leave a comment if you think that'd be interesting. This is my garden. I got a basil plant. I got pineapples that I'm reviving. They were dead, but they're coming back to life. Some green onions, aloe. Take a little snip, shall we? Woo-wee. Look at that. I'm going to take another snip for good measures. Snap. Now we're talking. I cut the bloodline out of the mutton snapper and we're left with some nice clean pieces of mutton snapper. Gonna dice up the green onion. Can't tell you how excited I am to be cutting up my own homegrown green onions. 
can't wait to start growing other stuff. I want to get some tomatoes. I want to get a little lemon tree. I have a lot more herbs coming. I got some peppers I want to start growing. Got good things coming, boys. We're keeping it simple. We're going to melt some butter. Butter is melted. One juicy piece of fish. Dip it on in there. Keep it real simple. Salt. Pepper. I'm only going to salt and pepper one side of the fish. We'll let that cook a few minutes and then we'll add the onions. The fish is about halfway cooked and I'm going to take half of the green onions. I'll save a little bit for garnishing and we'll just... Ooh, I can smell them. Wow. Okay. Pork pokes right through it so we know it's fully cooked through. Slap on some of my little garnishing. Ooh. If I had a lemon, I would squeeze a lemon on top of this thing too right now. Well, thank you guys for watching this video all the way to the end. We got ourselves a nice piece of fish with some homemade greens on it. Very simple because I gotta get this video posted today. Didn't have time to run to the store, but I got a professional cook coming real soon and he's gonna be cooking up some crazy recipes on this channel, so Stay tuned for that, but let's have ourselves a little bite. A big bite, big, hot, steamy bite. Green onions in this bite too. Steaming. Why do I always eat way too hot of food? Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mutton snapper is a very neutral fish, so it goes good with just about anything. You can cook it up any way you want. I've always wanted to smoke it. Haven't tried that. Maybe an idea for the next mutton snapper I catch because I've been catching a lot of mutton snappers on the vertical jig. It's been great. Thanks for tuning in. Remember every Monday and Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can expect a new fishing hunting video on this channel. And if you could leave a comment and push the like button, that would be very much appreciated. And until the very next episode, cheers.